This is Ambium. I'll take in your weekly video for you. Uh, they're still working on some grading for the lot, it looks like. On top of they started the framing for your uh, detached garage back there. I think you can see it. I'll walk around the outside again, then come into the front door. Still need to do finish up your front pillars, just to be expected. So we come into the front porch. Once again, you're going to have an electrical outlet located here. This is where your doorbell will be located. I don't have your light fixture in yet. I don't know how many people have been in here this week, considering it is Thanksgiving week. I believe most of the contractors take off Wednesday through Friday. So you may have only had work done Monday and Tuesday, but you can see, looks like the electricians have been here. Once again, this is your phone cables, your cable cables. Sorry, I know that sounds a little ridiculous. Uh, and this is your main breaker for the outside of the house. We're going to go over this in great detail in your walkthrough, but I'm going to show you a little bit of it now if I can. There we go, okay. Well, they don't have any of it hooked up or wired yet, but you'll have a breaker for your range. You'll have a main breaker for your air conditioning unit. You'll have a breaker for two or three other units, and you also have a main power switch. This is the main kill switch for the entire house, um, running inside the house. Now, there is a connection for a lock down here. Do not lock it, because if there ever is a fire at your house, the electrical company will need to have access to come out here and kill the power to the house to be able to obviously put out the fire. Um, as we walk around, uh, these are your backflow preventers for your exterior vents for your bathroom, just to make sure that nothing goes back into the house, only the air comes out through it. Uh, and you'll have that as every one of the bathrooms. They still have to come back and finish up there. You can see we went over that last time. Uh, you've got a electrical panel connection will be located in an electrical panel, a exterior electrical plug. Uh, and these are the weep holes we went over before. Make sure you don't block them up. Um, if you do not have any kind of pest service, pest control service, uh, make sure you spray in there about once a month with Raid or some other version of uh, bug spray to make sure that you don't get ants or anything up in there during the winter uh, inside your, your walls. That can happen in the south. Um, as we walk around, looks like they've done grading the, the lot. We've got an electrical panel here, which I believe will be for your pool. Yep. We've got a spigot located here. This is where your two fans will be located here. Here. This is your double French doors. Another electrical connection located here. This looks like it's going to be for your AC or your generator plug in one of these two. Not sure which one will be which, but that's what these two connections are for here. This is your electrical plug in. Uh, you'll have an electrical outlet located next to, I believe this is going to be your air conditioning unit for that reason then. No, that's your generator plug here. Your air conditioning unit is going to be located here. And then that's the line for your for your AC unit on the outside. Still haven't figured out what this wire is for. I'm going to have to ask and find out. You've got carriage lights located here, here, and here on the garage. Now I'm going through the front door since the garage doors are closed. So you got one located there. One thing that is unique to us as far as building goes uh, is we do continuously vented soffits all the way around the house. Uh, it's only code for the county that you do them every six feet, but we do it this way because it helps ventilate your attic, uh, keeps your electricity bill down during the summer when you're running your air conditioning unit, and it also helps prevent mold or any kind of moisture buildup in your attic. We've also got a lot of ridge vents on your roof, more than what's required by code, once again. Okay, as we go in the front door, got your baseboards down most of the way. So they were in here on Monday and Tuesday, they did paint the ceiling, they've got most of the trim work done, whereas before they didn't have it done all the way to the edges. Um, okay, your light switch is here on your left when you come in. First one's going to control the light out on your front porch, which is located right there. And the second one will control your light here in the foyer, which is located right there, and that's an air conditioning unit there. 
and another vent there and one more over there as well. Once again, I'm gonna go in a clockwise motion of the home. Um, but as we sit here in the foyer, you'll have an electrical plug in here. So if you wanna have a little table with a lamp and maybe something where you got a coat rack or something, you can do that here. Uh, we come into the left, this is your formal dining room and they've moved your, your double oven here into the dining room. Uh, and they'll be installing that in the, in the kitchen, which does look like they have some of your tile down. There in the kitchen, they haven't obviously finished or will have flooring in the foyer. Uh, your light switch for the dining room is gonna be located here on the left when you come in. Also, if you come in from the kitchen, it'll be located on your right. Um, as we look across the room, you've got electrical outlets about every six feet in this room, just like in every room in the home. There, and then we've got one more located over there. And your light or chandelier will be located in the center room with the air conditioning vent located over there. I'm gonna go walk back towards the uh, laundry room. This is your light switch here for the hallway. You've got two of them, one here on this side and the other over there. This wire that's located here is gonna be your air conditioning controls. And you've got an electrical plug in down on the floor. And this is where your pantry will be located at here. Actually, no, I take that back. This switch here is probably for the pantry on the outside because there is no light switch, but there is a light connection right there. So that's probably for that there. So we walk back. This is your laundry room. As you can see, they've got your tile down. You'll have a light switch located here as well as over there. Um, we've got an electrical plug in there. This is where your laundry sink will be, utility sink. We've got your hot water and whole water hookups for your washing machine, your exterior vent, and your electrical plug-in for the dryer. And this ray of switches, you should have one that turn on the light in here, as well as one that will dictate and control the lights in the inside of the garage, uh, one that'll control the lights in the attic access for the garage, and another one that'll control the carriages on the outside of the garage that I showed you previously. In the garage, you'll have two garage door opener switches, one here and one here. So we look around the garage, we've got, uh, this is the common ground for the house. If you ever have an electrician needs to come over and needs to have access to the ground in the house, this is it here. And you'll have an electrical connection next to that. Uh, this wire hanging out over here is for the sensor on the garage door opener. The same principle for these two, the one on the left will be for the garage door opener for the garage door on the left. This one will be the right, the left side for the garage door opener on the right. And we've got one more located over here on this side of the garage. Here. We've got an electrical connection located here. This plug over here is not an electrical connection. This is a switch for the light that's going to be outside of this door on the exterior of the home. Close and lock that door. We've got, uh, this is where your hot water heater will be located at here. So those lines are for your exterior, and that's a plug-in for the hot water heater there. Uh, electrical plug-in located here. This is your attic access connection here. They got it here so they can pull this down and have access to it. We've got an electrical plug-in located here and here, as well as this is your circuit breaker on the inside for the inside of the home. Okay, if we go back, I'll go into the kitchen. As we come into the kitchen, you've got a light switch for the kitchen located here on the right with an electrical plug-in. This bundle of wires here is for the under cabinet lighting that goes in the kitchen. Um, this is where your cooktop will be as well as your microwave above that. That's what that plug-in and that duct there is for. You got an electrical plug-in, electrical plug-in, electrical plug-in. Actually, those should be switches. And these are your wires for your under cabinet lighting. These sets of switches here are going to control a couple different things. Uh, one should control the lights above the bar, and the secondary one will control this outlet down here. Uh, once again, that outlet would be for a garbage disposal if you guys choose to install one. Once again, we recommend that you wait until your one-year warranty is up on your septic tank before you install one, or it will avoid the warranty. Uh, and you've got plug-ins here and here. You have a plug here, but that's specifically designed for the refrigerator, and that's your water line connection there for your refrigerator. Electrical plug-in, electrical, electrical, electrical um, phone. And then once again, these bundles of wires will be where your under cabinet wiring light comes out for the under cabinet lighting. And there's not one here because this is where your double oven is gonna be located, which is what that wire is there for. 
as we go into the master suite before we walk inside. This is the carbon monoxide detector for the master suite, like I've told you guys before. Every bedroom uh, and entrance to every bedroom is wired for a smoke detector uh, or carbon monoxide detector, depending on the instance, and they're all wired together, so if one goes off, they all go off. Just like in all the bedrooms in the previous videos, I told you, first switch is gonna be for the light, secondary one will be for ceiling fan. We've got an electrical plug-in located there, one there, one there, one there. This is your phone connection here. Electrical, electrical, cable, and electrical. Uh, they've got your tray ceiling with your crown molding installed. They still have to come back and do some paint touch-up. Hang on a second, let me see if I get the camera to focus. Sorry, it's taken a little bit. Uh, it should catch up. There we go, okay. They did miss some of the paint there in the corner underneath the trim, but they can come back and get that. That's all part of how it works, and that's where your smoke detector will be located at here in this bedroom. So we walk in. Uh, this is the half with the tub. You've got your light switches plus your exterior vent, and you'll have some lights above your vanity here. That's what these lines are out here for. Uh, and you'll have an electrical plug in there, but you'll have an exterior, you'll have a light there, sorry, and your exterior vented, uh, exterior vent there. This is the only access to the closet that comes in on the bath side. You've only got one electrical plug in here in the middle of the back wall, but you've got a light switch located here on the right uh, for the light that's located in the center of the room, and it does have an air conditioning vent to keep humidity and moisture and everything out of your clothes. Um, as we work our way here, you've got a light switch located here. Uh, this is your water closet, um, which is already done with tile. You've got two switches here. One on the, the switch on the right, as you're looking at it here, will be for the light. Secondary one will be for the vent. Um, as we come into the shower area of the bathroom, you'll have another vanity located here. Uh, once again, three sets of switches here. First one should control your lights above your vanity. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to work, but I assume the second one's going to control the light over the shower, and the third one should control the light over the exterior vent. Those two may be switched around. But you do have an electrical plug-in as well located here if you have an electric toothbrush, you need to hook up a curling iron dryer, whatever it happens to be. Um, as we come back into the sunroom area, we've got an electrical plug located here. One there, one there. We've got an array of switches here. Electrical plug, electrical plug, and then a set of switches there. Um, on the outside of your island, or no, sorry, on the outside of your kitchen, uh, you'll have electrical plugs. You'll have one located there and one located over there. Uh, and I did not go over this in your kitchen before. That's where your island will be located at, which is that wire sticking out of the ground right there. That's the conduit for the electrical plug that'll be on your island. Okay. On these switches, let me break some of this off so I can see how big this switch is and see if it's a three set. Yeah, it is a three set, but I'm not gonna be able to get it off now without tools. Um, one switch is gonna control your lights here in the sunroom. Uh, secondary one should probably control your lights out here on your porch or maybe the third one and the other one is probably going to control your lights on in the family room. Same principle over here, these sets of switches, one will probably control sunroom, the other one will control the family room. As we come back here into what would normally be considered a guest room or guest bathroom, uh, your light switch for this hallway is right here on your left, basic light right here, uh, and this is your carbon monoxide detector that's based outside of this room. You've got a linen closet located right before the bathroom. They haven't come in and put the door frame in yet, but they'll do that soon. Uh, we've got your tile down in here. You've got your vanity connections here, so they'll come in and put it the vanity cabinets as well as a sink, uh, a mirror, and then a light fixture. So your first switch here will control your light fixture. Once again, I'm guessing I'm not 100% sure, but I'll see that later. Secondary switch should control the light above the shower, and the third switch should control your exterior vent, which once again runs outside, not into your attic, because you don't want that humidity and moisture getting in your attic. But surprisingly, not all builders do that. As you walk into their back bedroom, first switch is gonna control the light, secondary one's gonna control the ceiling fan. You've got an electrical plug-in located down there at the bottom. One there, one there, one there. We've got electrical, cable, and electrical. We've got your double doors here. Um, these doors will not have a fully operating knob. Um, they're gonna slide in and post up. As you can see, they lock into place now, but we don't have the knobs, so we don't have them both locked in. Uh, the knobs won't turn, but they will be functional because you will pull on them to open the door. Let me actually take a video of the closet for you, sorry. Not a huge closet. Uh, that will be constituted as a walk-in, but it is a very large closet still, especially for a guest room or whatever you happen to use it as. As we walk 
uh, into the family room. You've got several electrical outlets and a cable outlet in this particular room and you'll have a ceiling fan located right there. Uh, we've got an electrical outlet, electrical outlet, cable, electrical, electrical, and you've got one on the corner over here as well. Uh, and you've got one over there as well I haven't shown you yet. Uh, this is probably going to be the only location in which you control the ceiling fan. Uh, generally in all of our homes there's only one place in the family room you can control the ceiling fan, but you can control the lights in other places. Uh, so this is probably going to be the place where you control the blades themselves. Uh, first switch is probably going to be for the light. Secondary one will probably be for the fan. Like I said, there is only one place in the house that you will be able to control the ceiling fan blades directly without having to pull the cord. And this is more than likely it, which is why it's a double switch. As we come here into the hallway, you've got another switch on your left, and that's for this light here in the hallway. And this is your carbon monoxide detector for this bedroom as well as the other bedroom around the corner. Like I said, every bedroom has to have a carbon monoxide detector and smoke detector, so that's what that's for. That's the carbon monoxide detector. In the bedroom, that's the smoke detector. When you come in, your light switches will be on the left. First one for the light, secondary one for the ceiling fan blades. Uh, we've got an electrical plug-in, electrical, 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 cable, and electrical. And once again, uh, you've got your closet door installed. Uh, as you can see, they've got your bronze hinges on there. And you'll have bronze handles just like you do on the front door. And this is the closet here. So we go into the hallway. That's an electrical plug-in down there. I didn't show you that before. I apologize. We've got your bathroom located to the right. You've got a linen closet outside in the hallway. It doesn't have to be for a linen closet, but you'll have four shelves plus the floor for storage, but you've also got a linen closet inside the bathroom behind the door here. And you can use this for towels or linens, whatever you prefer to do. And once again, it'll have four shelves plus the floor for storage. Uh, this is your shower unit. This is where your toilet will be located at. Uh, electrical plug-in, this is where your vanity will be with your sink and then your mirror and then your lights. And then once again, you get three switches here. First one to control the light over the vanity. And once again, I'm guessing secondary one will be light above the shower with the third one controlling your exterior vent, which is located right there. As we come into the last of the rooms, the bedroom for the house, uh, you've got two closets in this one. It is separated by a piece of drywall in between the two, so it can be used independently or you can use for the same thing. It's up to you. Uh, you've got two switches here on the right. First switch is going to be for your light. Secondary one is going to be for your ceiling fan. We've got cable, electrical, 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 and electrical. One more electric here. This is your smoke detector for this particular room. And this is where your air conditioning vent is here. Uh, they've got these ones closed, which is going to be a little bit more difficult to open. Let's see. This is the closet here. And like I said, it is separated by a piece of drywall. So it's not one continuous closet. Uh, so it can be used for several different things depending on what you want to do with it. They still have to come back and finish the trim up in the house. Uh, they got to do the door frames and they got to finish the, the baseboard here, which is a five and a quarter baseboard we use in all of our homes in Crestview. Uh, and once again, this is your secondary closet, same size. It's just the two are separated by a piece of drywall. Or two pieces of drywall technically and some two by fours. Um, that is it. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. I'd go out and show you more on your detached garage, but there are people out there working. I don't want to mess with them while they're framing. They tend not to be happy about that. Um, but if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Uh, feel free to call or email me anytime. And I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, well, yeah, I hope you guys have a safe trip down, and I will see you guys. I believe it's either Friday or Saturday. I've got it in my calendar. Um, oh. I always want to forget this room for some reason. This is your den study or office, whatever you prefer to call it. The light switch for this particular room is going to be located here on the left. We've got an electrical outlet, electrical, electrical, cable, electrical, electrical, and one more electrical located here. Once again, they still have to do the baseboard here so that I know that the trim guys aren't done and they still have to do the framing on the outside of the door here as well. So. Well, once again, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to email or call me at any time. And I hope you have a safe trip down.